Arsenal humiliate West Ham at the London Stadium on Sunday and Declan Rice put a world-class performance. This was very impressive, too. Oh, Arsenal were fantastic, weren't they? You know, West Ham didn't play very well, but Arsenal's passing, their decision-making, mm. the threat. You know, West Ham had a, a 10-minute spell where they tried to press and Arsenal played around there. Yeah, and as you said, Declan Rice is a top-class performer. It know? can't be easy to go back to your former club, you know, and to your former stadium when you know everybody, you, you've been there for it, so it long. It helps when you're playing for a very good team yeah, true, against a, a team that uh, aren't particularly good at the moment. You know, yeah, and, I guess. And, and uh, are playing so defensively, I would say, West Ham. Or playing poorly defensively, but they're yeah. trying to play a defensive yeah. game. But Declan Rice... Again, I think he can do everything a midfield player should be able to do. He can defend, he can pass it, he could. I think he can score more goals, great, yeah. he, can, he can run. Oh, he's, he's a top player. You know, player. the way he adapted from a, from coming to a West, from a West Ham team mm. that played such a different yeah. brand of football and style of football to Arsenal and the Arteta mm. and adapt so quickly. If you'd come from a playing, from like a ball playing team, mm. To, to go from that to another ball playing yeah. team, all be better, it would have been fine. This is kind of the same principles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To go from, like you said, a very defensive Moyes team, and we'll talk about Moyes later on the show, to this team and to adapt so well and to feel like you've always been in the kind of environment, I'm just like, wow. And I think Arteta's used him well. At times he's had Jorginho next yeah. to him, as he did against yeah, Liverpool, and they yeah. combined well. Yesterday he was the, the main holding player, but he would come forward and Odegaard was one side of him, and the, yeah. another midfield player on the other side. It was, it, was, it, it, was great. it was great. Back to West Ham's shoe, because we talked slightly about David Moyes and the defensive side of their game. He's under pressure now, clearly, after such mm. humiliation. Do you understand? Uh, well, I know a lot of West Ham supporters and they're divided. Um, and I'll tell you my view after I after I said this. I've got one, one friend who's a very good supporter who says, we're you know high up the table. When Moyes came, we were down at the bottom. Uh, both times he came, he saved us from relegation. Yeah, that's true. Much higher up the table. I've got his brother, who's also a West Ham yeah. uh, fan, says, I don't like going anymore. It's boring football. Uh, we, it is. We, 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 it's not entertaining. We play on the counter-attack. David Moyes is too negative. I don't enjoy watching football yeah. at, 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 uh, at the Lim at Olympic Stadium anymore, the London Stadium anymore. And I understand that a little bit because as a supporter, you want to go and think your team at home will entertain you a little bit. You know, not, mm. I'm not sort of saying by playing fancy football, but by getting the ball into the front areas and getting crosses into the yeah. box and threatening the opposition and closing it down. Because when they do that, the crowd get right behind them. When they sit off and defend, it's, it's boring to watch at yeah, times, particularly for the home side. Um, and the thing that annoyed West Ham supporters more than anything else, they were in the quarterfinal of the League Cup, the Carabao yeah. Cup. They thought that Liverpool were going to play a second string side. West Ham were on a good run. Yeah. They went up there and David Moyes, by his team selection, almost gave the game to yeah. Liverpool. And it was a terrible 100%. performance. They then think, and West Ham is a club that aren't going to win the league. Yeah. They're going to struggle to get into the top four. They like cup competitions. They, they're in the FA Cup against Bristol City at home in the third round. They expect to, the fans expect yeah. them to beat them. 100%. They then go to Bristol City with, a, again, a, a, a second string side with, with lots, maybe one or two injuries. Yeah. And they play pathetically. And yeah, they lose they the bad. game. And that turns West Ham supporters off. And that's why David Moyes is under pressure. You know, like, okay, they, they lost to United and Arsenal the last mm. two games. So, okay. And you can set up your team differently mm. for this game. But the game before that, mm. against Bournemouth at home, mm. when you only pick two attacking players mm. in your team, in Kudus and Bowen, mm. and I know you've got Paqueta mm. is injured and that's a big loss. Mm. You still had Danny Ings on the bench that you could yeah, start yeah. and play for an hour mm. and play Bowen on the right, Ings up front, Kudus on the left. You, Corner, okay, Corner is not messy, but Corner is a good player yeah. that can do a job. You play nine defensive players. It's almost as if David Moyes doesn't trust um, players that are creative. You know, every every time he puts on the field, you can almost, like Corner played yeah. against Bristol City in the yeah. away game. It's almost every time he touched the ball or made a mistake, you could see David Moyes, oh, you know, there's a player giving the ball away again. I'm not doing what he, I wanted him to do. You've got to trust yeah. your creative players. Ben Rama, you know, he hasn't been good for West Ham, but do you think he's been encouraged? You know, do you Definitely think he's, he's a, a player? He's, creative players need confidence, yeah. and if the manager doesn't give you that confidence, 100%. you're going to struggle. And then you let Fornals, who scored yeah. by the way for Betis yeah. this weekend, yeah. and Ben Rama, who started for Lyon, and you don't replace them. No. So you lose two creative players, yeah. whether you played them a, a lot or not, whether mm. you like them or not, it doesn't matter. You let two creative players go, and you didn't replace them. And the problem in the game against Arsenal is. Once that first goal went in, it's over. It's over because yeah. the, I mean, people argue and say, "Well, they, last year they came back from two 0 down to, to draw against 
Arsenal. Yeah. At all. But you could just sense the player. You could see the players think, that, that's 100%. it. You know, our game plan's out the window now. Yeah.